Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin-Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Saturday, April 22nd, around 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time 2023. The CME is headed our way to hit early in the morning on the 24th. It's looking significant, and we could get to KP6 or seven, but the big story, severe storms threaten the I-95 corridor from Pennsylvania to the Carolinas with hail, wind, and tornadoes. Keep calm. It's boom time. Happy Earth Day. It's always Earth Day here at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, where we don't use any chemicals and we do not pollute the world. But on to the big story. A cold front sweeping the east is bringing the threat of severe weather from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C. and south into the Carolina beaches on Saturday. Damaging winds, gusty hail, large hail, greatest risk for a few tornadoes can't be ruled out. And the D.C. region is under severe storm watch with possible high winds, hail, and tornadoes. And just earlier, an amazing water spout made landfall in Florida and knocked a person over. Take a look at this. Hope those people there know you might want to get indoors now. Yeah, don't, don't stretch your, your time out there yeah, for too long if you, if you can. But this is also uh, a worthy opportunity to kind of remind people as Looks we like now zoom, zoom Looks in. Looks like they're getting yeah, away. There's some yeah, there's moving people leaving. The mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they're doing exactly what they should do. They've been watching this thing. They see it getting closer. And in this case, if it's coming right at you, it looks like it's not moving because it's moving wow, in your direction. Wow, look at this, Brandon. There you go. There and it's it getting is. close. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to move on shore. It's this... going to make it on shore. I, I really, in the next few seconds yeah. here, let's and watch You this. mentioned also this is a tornado once it makes landfall here, it touches the sand, correct? Oh, yeah, once this hits touching. the sand, this would be a yeah. brief tornado. I'm curious. Look at the, the umbrellas already rolling down the beach. You see that? Yeah, we see it. Uh, you said, whoa, look at that, just lifting it right up. So you said about 50 mile per hour winds we could be expecting. From you could easily like this. see 50, 60, even higher, depending wow. on the strength oh, of it. That's right on top of the broadwalk there. It looks there. like someone almost just yeah. fell on the right side of your screen there. Chair. Did you see that guy? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's about okay. within a mile, I'd say, of the coastline now. This is a tornado once it makes landfall here. Touch Whoa, look at that, just lifting it There he it goes, right watch up. the so you sky right here. 50 mile per hour winds we could be expecting from You could easily like see 50, 60, even higher, depending wow. on the strength oh, of it. That's right on top of the broadwalk there. It looks there. like someone almost just yeah. fell on the right side of your... Pretty fantastic footage there. Give him a thumbs up. The, the video will be linked below. WPLG Local 10. Pretty awesome footage of a spout. Now, good news. With all the flooding that's about to happen and the flooding that's already occurred in California, gold seekers are giddy. The mother load of winter storms has sent water blasting through rock crevices and rivers in the Sierra Nevada, leading to more glittering discoveries. So that's going to be more gold coming down the mountain. Here's the full forecast. Severe thunderstorms possible today in the eastern U.S. and central Texas. A cold front will move through the eastern and southern U.S. today, triggering areas of strong to severe thunderstorms. Scattered severe thunderstorms capable of damaging wind, hail, and tornadoes are possible today from the Carolinas into parts of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, as well as Central Texas. Excessive rainfall from thunderstorms may produce flooding in Central Texas, and there are numerous frost and freeze warnings across the center of the country, so please heed the warnings and cover your sensitive plants. Now, the next, there is that severe weather threat in Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, through Monday. And the next threat doesn't pop up here until Wednesday. So that's good news. But the bad news is this cold front, this cold blob of intensely cold air is going to fall over the entire country and the east by Sunday and stay there. The entire east of the Rockies is going to be well below normal until May. Take a look at this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whew. It is going to be chilly in the center and the east in the country. But within a week or so, extreme temperature shifts in the west here starting maybe Thursday, April 27th at the end of the month. This is when the heavy melt is going to occur. April 27th starting Wednesday and Thursday at the end of the month is when all that Sierra snow is going to start pouring down the mountain. So heed the warnings. And the snow is going to continue to fall. Take a look at this. Here is your forecast through Sunday. Some snow in the uh, Colorado Rockies there. Here is Monday through Tuesday. Some more heavy snow moving into the Rockies. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday snow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The snow continues to fall into May. 
Hey, hey. Seismic update. No quakes to note. It's looking pretty moderate across the world. Good news. Now, there is some slight uptick here in Iceland, all over in the Tiernus Fracture Zone, by Ostia, and even on the Reykjanes Peninsula. So we're keeping a close eye on that and monitoring quite a number of quakes kicking off. Now, Worldwide Volcano News Update, we have some big news. Here we see Ibu puffing to 7,000 feet. We also have Santa Huito, Fuego, Kluchiskov, and Popo. All normal activity, 22,000 feet at Popo, 22,000 at Sabancaya. But Sange is the big mover. Another puff to 40,000. If you come over to our Twitter feed, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, at Diamond the Dave, we posted earlier today this massive activity at Sange. You can see the whole island here shrouded in ash and mist. This baby has been exploding quite considerably. And we reported on a huge blast two days ago, and we were correct. I confirmed it here over at the special volcano report coming from the Instituto Geofisico. And it, in fact, went to 14.3 kilometers, which is 47,000 feet. So quite a big blast from Sangay. And we also have more activity today, a puff to 43,000 and another to 40,000 feet. So keeping a close eye on Sangay as it's getting quite active. Yeah, that's pretty active. Now, space weather also getting active. A moderate G2 geomagnetic storm, which is now officially in effect beginning late Sunday into Monday UTC. The coronal mass ejection generated by the filament eruption on Friday is expected to pass Earth late this week and could generate minor G1 through G2 storm conditions. And visible aurora will be likely at higher latitudes. However, sky watchers across the northern tier of the U.S. should be Alert should the moderate threshold be reached, and it could even be better than that. It's showing a rapid spike up here, so that is indicative of quite a fantastic show in the aurora. Here you can see the CME coming and blasting us right there, 424, sometime in the morning. So stay tuned as the CME is, boom, headed our way. Now, on some of these angles here, especially in the radial velocity, not showing like much impact, but on the plasma density, it's looking like it may pop it up to KP six or seven. And in fact, the detailed forecast currently, well, hasn't even been updated. Hasn't been updated here, but it's updated on the front. So April 24th, KP six, KP five for April 23rd, as we await the arrival of the plasma filament eruption from just a few days ago. Now, don't miss the Lyrid meteor shower tonight. What's well, actually in the morning. So you want to get up early in the morning and you want to look west near Lyra. This is a picture from April 2012 in New Mexico. And there should be some amazing meteors. Well, 10 to 20 per hour typically, but it's hard to predict the Lyrid. So get out and look up. The, the radiant is Lyra, which is just to the right of Vega and will be above Jupiter. So, heads up, the Lyrids peak tonight or tomorrow morning, however you want to look at it, in the pre-dawn hours of April 23rd. Now, check out our Rumble channel. We just uploaded a new video. Russia admits to destroying NATO's deep underground command bunker in Kyiv. This is big news that was not on the mainstream media. In fact, the deep underground military base, estimated to be 400 feet underground, was destroyed, and it housed... NATO officers. I don't know if you know, but Ukraine is not a NATO affiliated country yet, but yet they have a deep underground military base filled with NATO officers in Ukraine. In total, more than 300 people were underground when the bunker was destroyed. That's big news. Check out the link below for the whole video. And we also are going to have an amazing show tonight from our radio podcast earlier today on Revolution Radio, in 774, the sun blasted Earth with the biggest solar storm in 10,000 years. Maybe. <laughs> Check it out. It's all about Miyake events. It's going to be a two-part series this week and next week. And we held on to some amazing tidbits we didn't share with you for next week. It's not the sun. Maybe. And that's a boom to knowledge. So go check out 
our video coming up in just about an hour over at Magnetic Reversal News. It will be linked below. And that's a boom to knowledge. Share this video as the algorithm has banned us, shadow banned us on YouTube. They don't share our videos. Many of you don't even get notifications of all of our premieres. So to el eliminate that, you can be just become a Patreon for a dollar a month, get all of the notifications and watch all of our videos commercial free. Be safe. We love you. See you over at the video.